Calvin. Hugh Davis. Welcome to Cardiff. Mr. Davis, good to see you again. Oh, no, please call me Hugh. Now, is this your first office of your own? Yeah, it is. Excellent news. I tell you what, call maintenance and get them to stick this on your door. It's a big moment. Oh, cheers, thanks. Now, I'll take you around in a bit, show you what's what and who's who. Did you get your welcome back? Uh, yeah, I think so. Excellent news. Get that. Could be important. Phone system. Real easy. Boom, boom. And then, line one. Go. Uh, Gavin Shipman. Hello, my little prince. Hiya. Look, um... How's it going, darling? Are people being nice to you? I can't really talk right now. Oh, my God, they're victimising you. You are the victim of the victimisation. Gavin, get out or run home now. Mum, everything's fine. It's my mother. <gasps> I'm just with my new boss. Oh, my Christ. What's he like? Is he bald? What? No. Look, I'll call you at lunch or after work when it's not on the company's time. All right. Well, call me on the... Sorry about that. Hey, listen. Everyone has to take a personal call once in a while. And when it's family, it's family. Now, your fire regs and what have you. Very simple. In the event of a fire, my motto is... Run for your life? No. Go to your nearest assembly point. Right. You're on your own with this one. Go for it. Hello, Gavin Shipman. You all right, mate? It's my dad. Uh, dad, I I'm actually with my boss. Oh, apologies. Say no more. Call me later. Cheers. See ya. I'm so sorry about that. It's just, you know, with the move down here and there. Listen, I completely understand. And a family phone call once in a while from a relative or relation is, uh... Now, chain of command on this floor. It's Joyce, then Terry, then Owain. Gavin Shipman. Gavin on! Right, ready when you are. Excellent news. OK, let's show you around. I'm just going to leave that there. She stuck up on me, Pam. Treat me like... like a common dog, a mutt. Darling, he didn't. It's his first day. He was off with me on the phone. I don't know who he is anymore, Pam. He's changed. He's gone and I'm here bereft. I know, darling. I know exactly how you feel. No, you don't. You got Mick. I got no one. I'm all alone. Well, what about Lucy? She's on some student exchange thing, digging round the door, doing. She's got no credit. I can't even text her. Now, Smithy, listen to me. You have got to pull yourself together, darling. You've got to throw yourself into work. I ain't got no work, have I? No one's got any money. Still waiting for Mick to give me the go ahead on the extension. I got Dino giving it all that in my ear, going on about his child maintenance. Got this christening on Sunday I'm supposed to fork out for. My life's falling apart, Pam. Hey, ah. Oh. oh, God, not this again, you two. He is struggling, Mick, to come to terms with the loss of Gavin. Gavin's not dead, Pam. Three days running I've come home to this, tears at the table. You are so cold, Michael. You are cold-hearted, oh, Mr Shipman. Argue, please. Your only son has emigrated abroad to another country and you couldn't care one jot. You couldn't care a J-O-T-E. I do care. I miss him. I do. I just think we've got to get on with our lives instead of sitting around here moping. Look, Smithy, we would like you to do the extension. Seriously? Because if I order materials... Do the bloody extension. And what are you doing home anyway, Pam? Shouldn't you and Dawn be rehearsing? The heats are in three weeks. It's off. Dawn and Margaret have had a fight. Why? Because Margaret wouldn't wear the costume. She said it was degrading. Costume? What's on about? <sighs> Me, Dawn and Japanese Margaret were going to enter Britain's Got Talent. Doing what? A medley of songs from Miss Saigon. I was just thinking, you know, I might still enter on my own. All that jazz from Chicago. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the Right, hotel? look, what's happening on Sunday? Who's taking who? And all that jazz... Well, I'm taking Mum and Rudy, so I've got two spaces if you want to jump in with me. No, it's all right, darling, we'll go down on our own. But if I'm not driving, I can have a couple of drinks, and if he's got two spaces... Yeah, but we don't want to get in his way, do we, Mick? Him and his sister and his mum. No, they won't mind. See? And you and Kath can have a little catch-up. No, I think it's a great idea. Take one car, save on the petrol, do our bit for the carbon footprint, eh, Pam? That's jazz. And the surprising thing about Terry is, although he doesn't look it, he is, in fact, our nominated first aider. Who? Ah, oh, now is somebody you've not met yet. Owain Hughes. Owain heads up the website. Hi, nice to meet you, Gavin Shipman. Owain Hughes. And before you ask, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we have a little seven aside on a Thursday if you fancy joining us. Oh, right, yeah, I'd like that. I mean, it's nothing too serious, you know? At the end of the day, it's just touch rugby, but some of the guys... Oh, sorry, I thought you meant football. <laughs>
No, we it's played rugby. rugby. It is. Gavin! Gavin! He won't let me in! I wanted to surprise you! Oh, God. Got your packed lunch. Brent, I don't need it. I'm sorry, this is my uncle in law. This is Bryn. Hello. Hiya. Hi, yeah. Bryn, this is Hugh Davis, my boss, and our website manager, Owen Hughes. Owen Hughes? And do you? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> is something funny? No, I just... Let me introduce myself. My name is Declan. McPartland. And this is my colleague, Sandra. Sandra. Looks fake. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Stacy Shipman. Now I see from your CV that you recently returned to the area. What made you go in the first place? Well, what it was, I married a boy from Essex and we moved up there, but he got a job down here, so we moved back. So are you prone to changing your mind? No, I just wanted to. Because we want someone who's committed. We want someone who's prepared to give 100%. I am committed. What about relationships? Are you committed to them? Yes, I'm married. Well, a little birdie told me you were engaged five times before you met your current husband. Well, they wouldn't say that in an interview, Uncle Bryn. Who wouldn't? Who's Uncle Bryn? Oh, Mum, tell him. Look at her, calling for a mother at the first sign of trouble. You, a generation, make me sick. You flounce in here and expect it all to be handed to you on a plate. Well, I'll tell you what, little Miss Five Engagements. I love this company with all of my heart, and I will not stand by and see it treated in the same way you treated Leighton and Howell, the other two, even Ahmed. I've seen it built for nothing. Do not presume to think you can raise it to the ground. The no, Sandra, this is something I feel very strongly about. Mrs Shipman, I'm afraid you're not what we're looking for. Good day. Good day, Mrs Shipman! What do you fancy? Lampersander. Can we get Lampersander? Yeah, we've got that. And how are we going to do it? Having our own or shall we Yeah, I think just... so. Let's and then we can all just... Yeah. And we should ring Gavin and check with them, because I'm not having what happened last time. What was that? He ordered all it the hot things. It wasn't that hot. Michael, people were in tears. Their noses were streaming. It was awful. He's got the chilies, the extra chilies, the jalapenos, and Smithy. He well, them all. he could barely see. He was sweating like a horse. Everyone was. And the next day, everyone was pumping and tramping. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, pass me the phone. I'll ring Gav. Oh, he's really starting to look like Smithy, isn't he? Yeah, I thought not. that around the Rubbing mouth. Chin. This is a weird when you see Smithy. Like, do you just think, oh my God, I've had sex with him? Stace, if I thought that every time I saw the man I'd had sex with, I'd never get anything done. Hey, Stag, will you talk to him? I ain't got the Bluetooth. Hello? Who's that? Is that Eunice? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? Oh, sorry. Um, look, uh, is Gav there or it's his dad? Oh, let me what's occurring. Hiya, I thought it was you. We're just ordering this Indian and we wonder what everyone wanted. They're ordering a curry. Who wants what? Oh, can I have a korma? It's a korma boring. I know it's boring. Gav, will you laugh at me if I have a korma? Of course I won't. I think I'm going to have... Well, hang on, is Mum getting a prasanda? Is Mum getting a prasanda? Yeah, lamb. Yes, lamb. Right, well, in that case, I'll have a king prawn bolte. Yeah, OK, I've got that. What about you, Ness? If they got it, I'll have a jamdani hash. I'll see if they've got that on the menu. Jamdani hash? Never heard of that. What is it? Duck, it is, Gav. Cooked in honey and limes. Immense. Yeah? It's OK, I've got that. What about naan bread? Smith, you want a keema naan. I want a bargee. Can I have a bargee? Oh, Mick, what's the situation with Papa Dom's bargees, Nans? Yeah, hang on a minute. Um. What are we doing about barges and things, you know, papa dums and naan breads? I get the picture. It's sorted. And tell him not to get all that hot stuff. I've said don't get the hot stuff. Yeah, yeah. Look, Mick, I'm gonna go. This is boring me. We forgot the sagaloo. Text mum and say sagaloo.
Right, let's see where we're up to, what we've got so far. We have lamb pasanda, beef madras, mm. chicken gelfrizi, no, no tomatoes. tomatoes, and Gavin wants a king prawn baldy. Hello, Yay. Smithy. Yay. Bonjour, mes amis. Comment allez-vous? Je m'appelle Smith A. What's that, French? Your instincts serve you well, Peter, or should I say Pierre? <laughs> yeah, what are you going on about? What's with the lingo? Lucy's got a pen friend over from the door, Dawn. He can't speak a word of English, so I'm just throwing it in whenever I can. Or in other words, Dawn, quite a little ton anniversaire. Well, we're getting an Indian. What do you fancy? Chicken boner, lamb boner, prawn boner, mushroom rice, bag of chips, key banana, and nine poppadoms. And then we're just going to stick it on the table, you know? Whoa, just... right. OK. What is it about a group of people ordering an Indian or a Chinese or something that is somehow unexpectable to eat your own food that you order yourself? Like, why do we have to... Why are we all just... Well, because it's nice. No, it's not. Not for me. Because I can guarantee someone, probably Stacey, will have ordered a korma. Am I wrong? Mick, am I wrong? No, she has, actually. Exactly. Right? And in my book, a korma is pointless. It's futile. I won't touch it. But I can guarantee that Pete's already ironed up my booners. Am I wrong? Pete, have you thought about my booners? Well, yes. I right, but they're my booners. You want a booner? Order a booner. That's why I've ordered two booners. Three, oh, actually. No, I'm had enough of it. It was the same last week. I went for a Chinese with Chinese's missus. They're all dipping into mine going, oh, you're is really nice. I'm like, yes, it is. That's why I ordered it. In fact, forget it. I want no part of it. I'll order my own. I'll eat it in the car. I'm out. Sagaloo. Sagaloo. I'd like a sagaloo as well, please, Mick. And you sure you just want a conservatory? Yeah, we've been through this. I know, but hear me out, right? So say you're already bricking it to here, right? Why not go the whole hog? The full Monty. Brick it to here, windows, and then instead of a glass roof, which gets dirty with watermarks and leaves and... Cats. Right? Have three, one, two, three, skylights. It'd have value. But you'd need planning permission. No! I didn't have planning permission for any of my extensions. I did nine last year. Look, I want a conservatory. I want somewhere for me where I can get away from it all. All the stresses and pressures of modern life. That's it. Pamela. Frenito, in memoriam, the end. Now, who wants a cup of tea? Yeah, I'll have a quick one before I go back. Go on then, milk and five sugars. Dean? 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 Dino. Yeah? Do you want a tea or a coffee? Uh, yeah, can I have half and half, please? Sorry? Like... Can I have tea in the bottom half of the mug and then coffee in the top half of the mug, please? Oh, right. Yeah, I started drinking it about 18 months ago. I call it a toffee or a key, but you can't ask for that in a cafe because they just bring you a toffee or a key. Is it nice? I've no idea, Mick. I like it. Can I just say to you, as I do to everyone, Dino will never be working here on his own. I will always be here to monitor him. All right, Gwen, um, you know everyone from the wedding? I think so. Hello again. Oh, she's met Dino. Hello, Dino. Welcome to Barry. Shemai, Dino dui, a in hapas yawn bordama in Barry. Sorry, but I don't... Gwen, wait a minute. What are you doing? I've been learning Welsh. I did an intensive course because I knew we were coming down. I wanted to understand what everyone was saying. <laughs> wow. What? No one speaks Welsh. Well, no, that's not strictly... Gwen, please, don't make it more complicated than it already is, OK? Listen, Dino, Dino, okay. No one here or where we're going tonight, none of them speak Welsh. But what about the signs and everything? I oh, know, you just got to ignore it. I don't understand. Dino, what... seriously, just forget it. Right? If I don't understand it, then you, you definitely won't. Right? Fee, fi, fo, fa, yeah. I smell the blood of several Englishmen. <laughs> Joking I am, I'm not a giant. Chinese! All right, Bryn, how are you? <laughs> Swede. All right, Bryn. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Easy, Bryn. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey. Now, you must be Dean. Dino. And is it your first time to Wales? Yeah. Christ, so he got Tears stream down your face. I promise I will learn from my mistakes. Lights will guide you home and ignite your bones. And I will try to fix you. And now, Dawn, would you please make your renewal vows to Peter?
heat. The two of us need look no more. We both found what we were looking for. With a friend to call my own, I'll never be alone. And you, my friend, will see. You've got a friend in me. Pete, you're always running here and there. You feel you're not wanted anywhere. If you ever look behind, don't like what you find, there's one thing you should know. You've got a place to go. I used to say I and me. Now it's us. Now it's we. I used to say I and me. And now it's us. And now it's we. Pete, most people would turn you away. I don't listen to a word they say. They don't see you as I do. I wish they'd try to. I'm sure they'd think again if they had a friend like Pete. Thank you, Dawn. And now Peter and Dawn's children are going to present the eternity ring. So Fiona and Alex, if you'd like to step forward, and Pete, if you'd like to take the eternity ring and place it on Dawn's finger as a token sign of your renewed commitment and love. I love you, Dawn. And Dawn, if you'd like to take Pete's eternity ring and do the same. Bloody hell, Pete! How much did that cost? 140 quid. Oh, he's disgusting. Have you seen this? You look ridiculous. I'm sorry. You may now. Seal your vows of renewal with a kiss. Just assume you're going to be all right, you know, like it's a foregone conclusion that you can have kids. But how low? I mean, how low is low? What, what are you going to do? I don't know. I mean, there's loads of options. Sperm donor... Right. OK. I get it. What? I know what you're saying. I'll do it. Smithy. I'll have sex with Stacey. No, you don't understand. I will. I'll do it for you. Call me stupid, call me crazy, but I love you. I'll do it. You're my best friend. I'd do it for any of my friends, really. Maybe not Dirtbox, and that isn't me being racist. We just don't really click me in her. Mate, it's not what this is about. Clearly, I've got strong swimmers, haven't I? Right? And listen to me. I promise you this. I guarantee you, Stacey will not enjoy it. You can watch if you like, just to make sure. But she will get next to no pleasure from it. And that's because she loves you. But I don't want you to. Of course you don't. Why would you? Christ. I'd hate it if anyone slept with Lucy. Though apparently after the boys' brigade have, I just have to believe that isn't true. Oh, Gav. Bryn says me and Ness are coming back with you. Is that right? Yeah, if you like. There's room in the car. OK. Well, we sort of ready to make a move, to be honest. What now? Yeah, if you don't mind. Well, no, we weren't going to go yet. I mean, we're going to stay for a bit. Yeah, fair enough. We'll go to the train. What? Yeah, well, it's not really my scene. I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. Hang on a minute. This is supposed to be my time with Neil. I've, I've barely seen him. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, I got a long drive tomorrow. I got a school party on the chair museum in High Wickham. So it's just easier for us to go back now. Well, whether it's easier or not isn't the point. It's supposed to be my time and my son. Nessie, you can understand that. Yeah, yeah of course yeah, you can. Look, and maybe next weekend you can have a bit more time with him. It'd just be better for me if we yeah, get actually, back... Actually, Dave, I don't care if it's better for you or not, cos it's nothing to do with you. It's actually none of your business. Nessa, What do you mean on. it's none of my business? The kid lives in my house. Caravan. Nessa. Oh, don't talk to her like I'm not here. This oh, is our Dave, son, mine and right? hers. Yeah, well, I'm his stepdad. No, you're not. You're a boyfriend. I'm a fiancé, and we're getting married on June the 13th. It'll all change then. Will it? It's going to change, is it? Yeah. Right. Well, best of luck with that, the whole marriage thing. I really hope it works out, given me and her woke up in bed together last time she came up here without you. What? What are you doing here? Oh, that's a nice welcome. Hiya, mate. Hiya. 
No, it's just, well, it's just a surprise, that's all. Yeah, that's because we wanted to surprise you. Needless to say, this was your mother's idea. It wasn't, actually. It was Dawn and Pete's. They saw the weather last night on Sky, and they said, oh, it's going to be nice in Wales tomorrow, by all accounts. Let's go down and spend the day on Barry Beach. So they following you down? No, they had a row. Three o'clock this morning, they're not speaking. Dawn threw him out. He slept in the shed. Why? That the bloody ring. ring. Mick, Mick, Pam, Gav, I'm up here. Hi! <laughs> Hello! There I was, having a bath. When the phone goes, it's Glenda. She says Gav's mum and dad have pulled up outside Gwent. I said, don't be daft, Glenda. But lo and behold, she was right. And there you are. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Wait there, I'll get dressed. I'm naked. Well, that's a fiver I owe Glenda. Hiya, <laughs> darling. She just emailed me and said it was you, and I said, I'll bet you five quid it isn't, and here you are. She's made a twat of me, Pam. <laughs> I'll tell you something else. Gwen's in for a shock. Glenda just texted me. She said you were here. Well, what a shock. I know. It's a surprise. <laughs> we fancy the day on the beach. Oh, that's the ticket. Oh, that sounds lovely. Can we join you? Gwen, we would love it. We've got everything in the back. Windbreaks, lilos, surfboards. Yeah, well, it's a bodyboarder. You coming, Doris? Oh, I haven't been down the island for years, Mick. Well, all the more reason. Well, why not? Donuts, a bag of chips, I'm your girl. I'll have to dig out my bikini. <laughs> Joking, I am, Gav. One piece it is. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, you were quick. Oh, I'm only halfway through, Pam. I'm not even talcumed yet. Now, I hear we're going down the beach. How do you hear that? Glenda. On Twitter, she said she's seen Gav's mum and dad talking to Gwen about going down the beach. You're coming, aren't you? I should, Coco, but I'm thinking about little baby Neil the baby. He'd love it down he there. He would. Well, what's the latest with Nessa and Dave? We don't really know. We've not heard a peep. Let me exfoliate. I'll pop down the van, see how the land lies. I love barbecues. I mean, I just love barbecues. I oh, know. I mean, this... This is one of the finest inventions since ever. I use them all the time. I can't get enough of them. I've got a stack of my own downstairs toilet. Take them to work with me sometimes. Like the other day, your mum's in the garden, fried one up, a couple of sausages, bit of bread, lovely. When you're done with it, chuck it away. Very environmentally friendly. Oh, don't start. But it's not, is it? Right, OK. Well, let's all buy a Prius and have a shit in the woods. Well, here's one you'll know. And if a double-decker bus crashes into us To die by your side is such a heavenly way to die And if a ten-ton truck kills the both of us To die by your side, well, the pleasure, the privilege is mine Oh, there is a light and it never goes out. There's a light and it never goes out. There's a light and it never goes out. <laughs> 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 Is he all right? He's out for the counter. I'll keep an eye on him, don't worry. Right, everyone, I think these prawns are ready to roll. Doris, you stay there. I'll get yours. <laughs> I go on. A bit of everything, yeah? Yeah. What doesn't get eaten, we can stick in the bin. You warm me now. So I can go get a blanket. No, I'm fine, love. Hey, I'll tell you what we need. One of those outdoor heaters. Have you seen those, Mick? Yeah, I have. They are phenomenal. They keep you warm even when you're outdoors. Yeah, well, Pete and Donna got one. Yeah, tabletop one. Pete sticks it on when he sleeps in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you where there's a good one. The O'Neill's in Loughton. But if you're right under it, it's too warm. But she's sweat. Yeah, Dino was under it all night. He was outside chaining it, people bringing in drinks. He actually got burnt on the back of his neck. Sunburn. Let's put after sun on. Aloe vera. Hello, Aloe vera. vera. <laughs> I worry about that boy, you know. We all do, Mick. But I tell you, that is the one only singular good thing to come out of the smoking ban. The advancement in outdoor heating. Rimburger! How you doing? Oh! <laughs> And who's this little nugget? What a treat! Hiya, we just passed each other on the motorway before I come and say hello. How are you feeling, Ness? Sizey. We had a lovely run down, didn't we, Ness? Maybe I just stopped Helps to lead Eleanor. Just to take your mind off the big game. I know, it's just a sore smith here. I thought, I'm going to be literally five minutes and then I'm going to be heading off again. OK. Love you. All right? Yeah. Uh, I've got a couple of changes of clothes in there for him. Yeah? Only special blanket. 
Oh, you got your special new new blanket. Yeah, <laughs> you got your new new. And he's not been sleeping too well the last couple of nights, so you might want to stay with him till he gets off. Yeah, yeah, of course. What are you going to do with him? Oh, you know, just hang out and stuff. Me and Rudy are going to take him to jungle gyms. We're going to have fun, aren't we? <laughs> Come on then, little fella. I'm going to have a holiday with your daddy, eh? We'll be back next week. And I've put his mobile in there, so get him to give me a ring just so I can hear his voice like. Yeah, of course. We'll be fine, you know. We're going to be fine together. I know. Right, well, all the best for today. Got good weather for it. I've got you something, actually, in the car. Let me... Um, sorry, Brim, will you take... It's not anything big or nothing. It's... Oh, cheers. Thanks. I think I wouldn't have just been him, so, uh... And look, when you get back, we'll, we'll work out some kind of routine, you know? A bit more of a structure to everything. I know that you and Dave are getting married, and... He's not replacing you, no nothing, you know? Dave. I never thought he was. No. It's only one of you, in there. Cheers, Bryn. Oh, there you go. Drive safe. Uh, right, Gav. See you there. Ness, let's get you home and get you married. See you. You all right, mate? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to get a tea. Do you want to...? No, I can't. I've really got to get that. Bye, I'm getting in the car right now. Just go. I know, but it really was only five minutes. Yeah, OK, but I don't see what the rush is. We've got loads of time. Ness has only just left. OK. See you, mate. Am I too late? No, no, we're just getting to the important bit now. Grab yourself a seat. Vanessa and David. Oh, wait. Has it happened, him and her? Smithy? Is it signed? Is it done? Mate, what are you Come doing? Come on, man, this is our day now. Is there something you wanted to say? Yeah. No. I don't know. I'm a bit confused, to be honest. I know what you're all thinking, like this is some big romantic gesture, like I'm declaring my love for her or something, but I'm not. In fact, the weirdest thing is, if anything, a lot of the time you repulse me. No, it's not, honestly, it's not like that. I know that doesn't offend her, it doesn't, does it? So I know you feel exactly the same about me, right? Yeah, he's right. A lot of the time I find him disgusting. See? And yet we have these moments. These weird moments, these things in common. And we've got him. And if you're marrying Dave, just so you've got a father for your son, someone to help you and support you and be around. I'm saying you've already got that. In me, I can be those things. I just think if you're marrying him, you should do it for the right reasons. You should do it because you love him. I don't think you do. Well, do you love him, Vanessa? Do you love David? Yeah, I do. Really? Yeah. OK. No, you don't. Oh, heck. What are you on about? He's right, Ness. It breaks my heart to admit it, but I don't think you do love me. I think this last year I've been kidding myself. Every time I tell you I loved you, you'd say, I know. And I thought you were saying you loved me too, but you weren't. You were just saying, I know. I know.
No hard feelings, eh, Dave? It's been a blast, sugar tits. <laughs> <laughs>